Okay, you, you can probably see my all see my screen. So we have a few questions. Uh, the, the first question I would like to address is related to homework one. Uh, that's related to make file and uh, sec four. So uh, the who, I forgot which student actually have problem with sec four. Oh, it was me. Okay. Um, Mernali, Mernali, right? Mernali or Mernali? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can Can you uh, um, tell me? Can you send me your your code via email right now while I actually address the other issue? So I will yeah. use your code as an example to actually try to um, recognize. This is about homework one, right? Can you send me the code right yeah. now via email? Yeah. And I'm going to first go to the second question, which is the make file. Who actually asked the question about make file? I think I have uh, Avi. You have a question about yeah, make it's file, me. right? Yeah. What kind of warning message you got in make file? Um, it says it says make file to missing separator stop. Okay. Okay, it's a make files. Uh, well, also, I don't know if I'm typing in the right commands. Okay, no, no, it, it's 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 that that makes sense. If you have a separator, let me actually just tell you what. Let me try to see if I can reproduce uh, the the file, reproduce the um, make uh, the the problem you might have. So this is the a, a typical make file. So there's a one thing that's actually very important in make file. I hope you can all see me. Is that you see that this one, this this space here, I'm actually using my uh, uh, the. You can probably see that from my screen. The mm -hmm. the line here. This is actually a tab. It's not a space. Yeah. So so I actually have to tap it. Let me tell you that if I actually use the space, okay. If I use the space, make it clean. Make a sharp u five Klein dot h. If I do this, wait a minute. What is uh, I thought I already cleaned it. Nothing to be done. Sharp u Klein dot h. Make a mistake. <clears throat> yeah, why? You see that when I when I type this, there is a nothing done. And when I type make is actually some kind of trouble. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um if, if I go to if you look at my make file. The things I did, it was I'm using the space. If I using the tab, then I type the same command. Now you can ask you correctly. And then when I type make, it's okay. So in make file, there is a there is a small secret, but it's is really confusing. Is that when you look at the make file, look at H five. Uh, HW5 client.h, this line I'm putting out here, is this particular space, it, it has to be tapped. So every, every, so, okay, let me actually explain this a little bit. In the make file, there is a three part. This part is called the target, that before the first line, this is three things, it's called a rule, that a make file looks like this. Let me actually write it down using the, the comment here. The first thing is called the target. This is the target. And then after the target, I, to be honest with you, I actually usually put the tab key, some tab key, okay? And then after here is what we call dependency. Meaning that if you want to make the target, then you have to check or develop the dependency. I will actually talk about dependency a bit later. And again, next one is called the rule. Also have a one or more tab key. Have a more tab key is okay. And then we will 
call the uh, the action. Okay, so essentially a rule, you can see that HW5 client.h is the target and it depends on ECF36B homework5.json. This file is a dependency and over here is a tab key as well. No, not this one. Over here, this one is a tab key as well. I can have multiple tab key, that's okay. And then if uh, the, the dependency is okay, then this line over here, JSON uh, RPC stuff is what we call action. And before that, you need at least one tab key to actually make sure that that is actually uh, be executed correctly. So I want to explain a little bit about uh, dependency. What, what, what do I mean by dependency? So the, the, the way it works is that I will check the system, the make file program is going to check whether the timestamp of the dependency is newer than the target. If the if the targets uh, the the current targets timestamp is actually newer than the dependency, then essentially I'm not going to execute the action. I will execute the action only if the dependency is actually has a newer timestamp than the target. Okay, let me actually give you an example. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I hope you can all see my screen. I'm going to invoke the shell here. Okay, so I have a shell here. So if I say make hw5client.h, you see it, it's saying that hw5client.h is up to date. That means its timestamp is actually newer than the timestamp of ECF36B HR. So let's actually look at LS minus L, HRG5, client H. You can see that the timestamp of HW5, client H is October 28, uh, 11, 14. So that's about right now. But let's actually look at the timestamp of ECF36B. Uh, over five dot JSON. You look at the timestamp of this, the timestamp of the dependency is actually older because it was about four days ago. So therefore, unless you don't have this, if you don't have this, of course I will generate, I will fire the action. If, if this one is actually newer than this one, then I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to play a trick. I call, there is a Unix command called touch. Touch means that I'm actually going to change the timestamp of the file I'm touching to the current timestamp. So let's, I, I actually invoke this command called touch. When I do touch, and if you do ls minus l, ECF36b, homework5.json, you can, uh, sorry, that's a mistake. If I do ECF36b, homework, Five.json. So now, uh, wait a minute. Did I touch the right guy? Why is this didn't change? That's very strange. I already touched it. Let me actually try it. Make. That's very strange. I thought touch should change the timestamp. Let me, let me try again. Touch ECF 36B hru5.json. Yeah, now you see, I have, for some reason, the previous touch didn't work. So now you see, I after I do a touch, the timestamp of ECF36B HW5 JSON has been changed to right now. So now I say make HW5 client.h, it will actually file the rule because now the dependency is actually newer than target. So you're going to ask you that. Okay, so that, that is basically the, 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 the first issue about make file. Um, 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 
um, Avi, you're the one who asked me the question regarding the make file. Please actually see if those rules apply to your make file and, and the rest of you who has problem with make file. This is this is a general. So so make file is essentially uh, just have a bunch of rule without any particular order, but you have the the target part, you have the um, dependency part, then you have the action part. And remember, you have to put the tab key over here, and then you have to, between two rule, you have to at least one blank line to separate. And the rest of the, the make file is essentially what we call the the, the macro, you can actually define the macro like what I did here. And by the way, this is the code that's actually already loaded. I, I uploaded, I, I modify a little bit because on October 24th, I was uh, I was actually uh, say is homework four, but that's actually homework five. So I already update everything is over there. Okay, any, any question regarding the make file uh, before I get to, uh, Marida's, um, sorry, not Marida. The the um, Mernali's uh, code. Any any other question about about make file? Okay, let me see if I got. Ravi, uh, Mernali, did you send me the code? Uh, um, I sent it on Canvas. Should I send it through like okay. the other that, email? That, that should be okay because the Canvas, uh, the Canvas code uh, is being thrown to a different folder on my, on my I, mean, I usually use Thunderbird, but I also, uh, um, my, my account is also linked with Outlook and, and it's always, Outlook always put the 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 canvas mail to to uh to clutter. Let me actually see. They always put in the clutter. You see here it is. Okay. Okay, I got it. So let me actually download this code. Okay, I have it here. Let me clean this up a little bit so I can deal with this. One second. Let me see. Okay, this is uh, your code, uh, Renali, and uh, I will just compile it. Uh, minus O, W, 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 W. Okay. Okay, I have this code. I'm going to run it. I hope you can all see me. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, because it need to open the file, right? So make dir this, this, uh, where's my wordle? Uh, Okay, so you're using exactly the same name, right? There's two file. No, I don't want to move. I want to EP here, star here. Okay, I have this two file here. What happened? Let me, let me take a look at your code.
oh, you're using this one. Okay, that's fine. Because you're 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 actually getting it from the the different directory. Okay, you are in the same directory here, so I can run it. Okay, so I will do new. Uh, uh, by the way, right now it's okay. Uh, when uh, will you have a segmentation fall? Because right now it looks okay. Is there a is there a particular code or something that will trigger the? On, on my computer, it doesn't do this. It like um, I don't know how to explain it, but I could like show you what it does on my terminal. Okay, sure. Do you, do you mind share your screen? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me. Okay, let me allow you to share the screen. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, can you see it? Yes. Yeah, this is what it does in my terminal when I run it, but it does print like a list or. In the beginning, it was like printing a list of words, and then it says all these guess zeros, and then a segmentation fault here. Yeah. Can you run it? Can you do a LS? Do a LS. I want to see your screen. Okay. Can you try to run it? Run the, the program, whatever the program you're, you're running. Uh, you said run it? Yeah. You Can you run your program? I want to see oh, yeah. the sec fault. Wait a minute. Um, the file you sent to me was Wordle2.c. Okay, you're 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 sending me Wordle2.c. Yeah, that's the one I'm using too. That's okay. Can you run it again? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I, so, okay, this is interesting because on my computer, it doesn't have the sec fault. On your computer, you have the sec fault. This is actually a very good uh, case because apparently there are certain things handled by Linux and uh, uh, Mac differently uh, and such that the, the, the bug only show on one platform, but it's a bug. It's not saying that your program doesn't have a problem. It's, it's obviously a bug. Um, so can you do this for me? Okay, I, I want you to do this for me. Um, when you compile, can you go back to compiler line? Um, the, the line yeah. you compile, I want you to add a minus G option. Add a minus, when you compile, say GC. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after GCC, put a minus G. Okay. You can put it at the end. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Minus G, yeah. Minus G space and world two dot C minus O. Yeah, do this. Enter. Okay. Now I want you to say GDB space world two. Yeah, enter. And uh, wait a minute. Okay. Can you do this sudo because you haven't installed apt install gdb? Okay, you need a password. <clears throat> oh, wait. Uh, it's see. a password. It's a it's a password for your WSL, I think. Yeah, let me see. Let me try one more time. Oh, yeah, okay. it works now. Yeah, you just say yes. Yeah, remember that password. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Right now, right now, you can run uh, GDB World 2. Mm -hmm. 
GDB space word 02. Okay, you say run, R U N space. Okay, say new. Now you type new. Okay, all right. Now I want you to do where, W H E R E. Okay, so the last part, it was causing this segmentation fall. It was in line 229 of Wordle2.c. So now you would go back to your source code, look at line 229. That's here. Okay, so it basically tried to copy the um, the uh, the string from answer index to the guess. Yeah. But apparently now that that answer has some issue we need to deal with. So you got the answer from filter words, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do a little bit debugging here. Can you add the line 228? Yeah. Uh, you say uh, uh, printf index. Printf, print a double quote index, sorry, double quote. Oh. Double quote index is equal to percent D. No, inside, yeah, yeah, I want to just equal and then space that percent D. Okay, and then space, no, after percent D, say answers, um, answers is equal to percent P. Like that? Yes, like that. Okay, so now let's try to do this. Okay, no, after double quote, put a comma. Oh, okay. No, 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 Sorry, inside the parentheses, yeah. So the first thing you say, uh, index, I-N-D-E-X. Okay, comma. And then say, answers index. Answers index. Okay, like this. Okay, good. And then the next line, next line say F, F, L, U, S, H, 2F, flush, F flush, okay. F flush. And then uh, parentheses say H -T S, T, D, O, U, T, standard output. No, there's a parentheses. F flush oh, is a function. Oh, okay. Yeah, parentheses. STD out. Okay, semicolon. Okay, let's try to save the program and then go back to your terminal window. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you say QUIT, you quit from GDB. Say QUIT, you say yes. Yeah, and then now you go back to that line. You can do, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And now say uh, GDB, yeah, yeah, that, that line you just passed. GDB, oh, I only do GDB, yeah, yeah, th this one, this line. Okay, now you say run, then say new. Okay, you see that it's it basically the index that's causing that is actually go beyond the limit. Mm -hmm. And the answer is null. So for some reason that the index, which you keep trying, right? You keep trying the, the solution. And at that point it's already, I think the solution only have about 25, 2,565. It doesn't have 2,566. Uh, 2, it doesn't have that. So, yeah. so that's why that was the word that's actually, um, that that is because it's the array of uh, the answers doesn't have that extra entry and that entry is is null means that is a is a um, um, 
bad pointer or, or new a pointer. So when you try to dereference that, can you go back to your line of 290, 229? Yeah. And now you can see that 229, you try to copy that pointer into guess, but that pointer mm -hmm. itself is null. So you uh -huh. try to do that. That's why it's causing segmentation fault. You try mm -hmm. to access the memory region that's actually prohibited. So my guess, okay, my guess is that somehow, um, Somehow, okay, if you add the line 227, you say NM, the index is going to be smaller than whatever the, the number. You see what I'm getting at? Um, which line? Line 227. See. Seeing line oh. 227, you, we have to put a stop, right? In terms mm -hmm. of how many guesses is a max try, but but... But the thing is that um, how many how many solution how many entry we have in the solution? Let me actually check very quickly. So solution has two in, in my program, it has uh, two thousand uh, three hundred and fourteen. Mm -hmm. So, which means that you should actually do uh, uh, in line 227 after the string CMP, guess, and the word, the, the, the one, the blue right parenthesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, put an M, M, put another M sign. Another, oh, An and. another two M, M. Oh, okay. Links end. And then say, uh, index is a smaller than what number I have 23 2314 okay and and now let's try to save the program okay because this basically make sure your your program will stop when you run out of okay do QIT. Okay, recompile. Now you can do GDB, GDB whatever. Yeah, do GDB. Yeah, that's correct. And you try to run it. Okay, so right now the problem is that you actually guess all the words, but for some reason, it actually, uh, um, it actually uh, won't. It actually try everything. It couldn't find anything, so it's just just uh, um, say it's it's not. And but it won't. It won't uh, segmentation fall right. So that yeah. doesn't solve everything about your program. Uh, your the the part. Can you unshare your screen? Yeah. So now I'm going to share my screen that's that's actually interesting or bothering me is that this is exactly the same program but it actually worked for me on my platform oh sorry it works right i'm actually uh checking this and i always get it but but somehow i didn't um get the list about what you have like what you what you have yeah i i don't know why but uh and i of course i don't have uh um okay can you do me a favor i'm not we're not going to do this right now because i need to handle other issue uh can you send me the 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 file we just modify and send to me via canvas is okay i need to dig into that but but at least uh, what you and others should learn is how do we actually try to handle the segmentation fault problem and try to understand why it occurred, right? There's two issues. One is a, what we call runtime error. Runtime error means that it's causing things like a segmentation fault or divided by zero. This is runtime error. But the other kind of error that's currently, I think you're encountering on your program is what we call logical error, meaning that the program didn't crash 
but it didn't generate the right result. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll take care of that. Don't worry. Okay. okay. So should I just send you the yeah, file? Yeah, yeah. Send me send me the file. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So now I want to go to the next question. I forgot who asked this uh, about uh, JSON installation, right? Who asked the question, JSON installation? That was me, Brandon. Okay. Hey, Br Brandon. Hold on. Uh, Vidan, you, you, you raise your hand, right? Do you have any question? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to quickly say that I'm having the same issues as Mrinalini Mr that when I run the run my code, instead of getting the actual word that's uh the that's our word that the word and game is going to give us mm -hmm. let's say for right, right here for your word it's it's ikili so what my code does is it prints out every word except that word so it will <laughs> let's say my word is yeah right. my word is award then it will print out everything except award and then it says you lose an award okay the can, word was uh, award, yeah. Vidan, can you also send me the code I, I'll be really, really uh, uh, curious about what's happening. Because the interesting is, is, it seems to me it's the same piece of code and it behaves differently on two different platforms. That's, that's exactly killing us for as a C programmer. And I have so many of this kind of uh, surprise uh, in my career as a programmer. It's always uh, fascinating when we have this, this kind of issue. And it will go down to something probably deeper uh, than the ECF36B. But I, I, I'll, 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 I'll do my best and I will explain to you. And don't worry about this about regarding deadline because this is, uh, um, at least I feel uh, um, uh, Mernali's program works fine, works perfect for my machine. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do, uh, uh, Brendan, can you tell me a little bit about what's your issue? uh about installation yeah so i looked at your um announcements for the frequently asked questions for homework right. one and two and then there was a link to the brew website right um but i i just couldn't figure out what i was supposed to do there was an install command for the terminal but when i type it in it it just doesn't work um and so I wasn't sure what I was supposed to. What what platform do you have? What what is the machine you have? I have a uh, Windows ten, and I downloaded uh, WSL. Okay, your Windows. So which means it's a Linux. So let me actually. So this is homework two. Basically, is about JSON CPP, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Let me get. On through uh, JSON CPP. So we're talking about this particular page, right? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you what's the command installation. No, okay. He's actually go to my. Okay, here they should tell me because it's actually detect I'm using a Mac, so they they actually didn't give me the the Linux information immediately. Oh, that's not good. It's actually sending me all the. Okay, I know what I want to do. Homebrew Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Okay. That's very strange. Okay. Now I hope you he is not giving me the, the things I really want. Install Ubuntu. Can you actually give me this, unfortunately? Okay. Um, have you tried this line? If you're using Ubuntu, uh, type this line in your WSL. Okay, I have typed that line and it does install, um, but I'm not sure, uh, I guess, where to go from there. Okay, once you install uh, 
um, to to actually confirm it has installed, uh, you want can can you actually share your screen if that's possible? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go to your uh, WSL uh, terminal. Yeah, okay, this is really small. Can you actually make it bigger? You know, uh, can you do, uh, is there a way that you can make the, not, not the terminal, the character to be bigger? Wow, you have a really, no, that's fine, that's fine. I, I will just remove my class and just, uh, I'm to an age, I have to, I have to actually go really close to see your, okay. So that that's good. That's good. You already install. You see that you install on um, user include JSON CPP, right? Okay. okay. So uh, let me see. Can you, can you do me a favor? Do a type of ls space no no ls space slash usr slash local slash local slash include. Nothing. Okay, so let's type uh, ls slash usr slash include. Okay, you do have uh, JSON CP. P. Okay, so good. So type ls slash usr slash local slash include JSON CPP. Uh, slash not not no space slash j s o n c p p no 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 dot no no dot yeah enter no it doesn't have that that's that's strange j s o n c p p is there a, oh sorry sorry I I meant user include not not the user include json c p p not local. Enter. Okay. So enter. So now there is a JSON directory. Okay. So go to your, uh, when you go to your homework to make file or whatever the, the code you try to uh, run. Okay. Where's the, your make file for homework two folder? I don't have a make file yet for uh, homework two. Okay. You, you, you will need to have a make file, but let me try to compile something. Uh, this program is a main.cpp. Which program is already compilable? L let me just use the... Um... Uh, I haven't been able to compile it. It doesn't... Um, there's undefined uh, references. And... Okay, so let, let's try to compile one program that's actually the, the easiest one. Uh, let's go to uh, person.cpp. Can we go to person.cpp? Go to person.h. And you don't have JSON here. Okay, then any emulator program has JSON. No. Uh -uh. Okay, so let, let's go to your main.cpp then. Yeah, main.cpp is the only one you have JSON. Um, you know what? Let's actually just go to person.h. Go to person.h. And in line after line number nine, after line number nine, add a new line, say pound include uh, the, the smaller than, the smaller than sign, and then say json slash json.h. No, not json cpp, json slash yeah, sorry, it keeps. No, that's okay. It's it's uh, VS Code is try to play smart, but we don't want them to play smart. And then say JSON dot H. And and write uh, greater than. Okay, and save it. Okay, now go to your terminal. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, is this the directory uh, that you have your code? Um, we need to go to your directory for the, 
do an ls okay so i want you to do uh type this you should actually type this uh eventually make file because you are going to have a lot of trouble without make file you say g plus plus space uh minus minus std is equal to minus minus i think is two i think there was two make, make five should have two space right yeah oh sorry one minus not two minus and i took it back minus std no space no space minus std no space no no, no. minus std equal uh c plus plus 14. Okay, space minus C, space minus capital I slash USR slash include slash JSON CPP, space uh, person dot CPP, capital P. Capital per space, enter. Okay, so now you can see that you can compile the person.cpp correctly, including that JSON, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the line for you to compile the code, right? And the other thing is linking the code, which uh, because your program hasn't fully developed, you cannot actually do that, but we can try to do that. Okay, so can you do ls slash, ls slash usr uh, space, space, sorry. ls space slash usr uh, slash, uh, I think it's going to be lib, lib, enter. Okay, do I have JSON here? No, I don't have JSON here. Do you see anything? Yeah, I don't see uh, JSON. Okay. So let, let me try one thing. You say G++ space person dot O and then space minus L uh, JSON CPP. No, no space. Enter. That's actually, it looks like it can find JSON library. It's not complaining that you don't have the uh, JSON library. It's just complaining you don't have a main. Okay, let's go to, can you go to uh, person.cpp? I just tried to hack so such that I make sure that it has that. Okay, at the end of the, add something to line 28. Add to line 28. Uh, you say integer int main. You know what? Uh, that's 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 not uh, that's not going to work. Is it's not going to work easily? Okay. So let me actually tell you that um, it appeared to me that your JSON has been installed correctly, and when you want to run it, you just say uh, uh, you know minus l JSON CPP. It should work. But to verify that, can you can you bring back that your terminal window? I want to do one more thing. You say um, find f i n d and space slash and space minus name minus n a m e space lib l i b j some c p p dot a Dot a. A. Dot a yes that's correct it's a library 
uh, space is archive. A stands for archive, and then minus print and enter. I want to see where exactly where it is. Don't worry about that permission deny. That's okay. I we don't we don't worry about that. Um, while this is going, I wanted to ask you, is it okay that I'm writing the classes as the .h and the .cpp? Um, or do they need to be like a .json file or? For homework two? Yes. For homework two, why do you need a .json file? Uh, well, I, I'm just, I'm, Kind of confused by I guess the the announcement or the importance of the installing the JSON. I guess I don't really know what the JSON installing the JSON library does. Well, it, 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 the the JSON library. If you don't have the JSON library, the it's first it's not the JSON library. It's the JSON C plus plus library. Basically, provide you to use all the uh, the the feature that's actually included in the C++ to manage the, the JSON object. Okay. Yeah, so so I mean, what, what you're doing right now is perfectly okay. It's just, you don't have the make file and you haven't uh, include all the JSON stuff like uh, to do the dump to V. I mean, I, I have some reference code. You should actually try to see what I did in the reference code and try to... Okay, is that, is, sorry, is that in your GitHub? Yes, or, it's in okay. GitHub, in okay. different place in the GitHub. Okay, all right. So that related to linking problem as well. The linking, really the, the issue will will be presented in the in the make file. So that's why make file is really important, okay? Gotcha, okay. Okay, I, I'm, my time is up. I think I have took care of most of the issue. Uh, is there any other issue? I know I write down here output for homework one. Who asked this question? I forgot. Well, I had a question about my homework one. Okay, Isabel, yeah, go ahead. Um, It was just like, my thing was outputting the same thing like over and over and over again. Okay. Um, Isabel, because we're running out of time, can you actually send me your code yeah. through Canvas and then I will take a look, okay? Yeah, sure. yeah. okay. All right, I I'm sorry the, the time is up. And uh, um, uh, if you have any question, please send me an email or or you can ask me uh, before right before the class when I get there, okay? All right, good luck. I'm going to finish recording. Today, record will 